In this video, we're going to talk about how to hit the inside of the ball and what will happen if we let our bat head beat our hands or create too much bat lag. So when we're hitting the ball, I always set up the ball the same way on the tee. Two seams, making a target right in the middle of the ball. As a slapper, we want to try to hit the top seam to make sure that we're getting down onto the ball, creating a ground ball or a line drive. When we hit, we want to make sure that we keep our hands nice and close and we release the bat, controlling the bat head. Make sure that we don't have too much bat lag here and our bat head isn't too far behind. We also don't want the bat head to beat our hands, otherwise we're going to hit the outside of the ball and it's going to go up the middle or it's going to go right side. So if I stop my hands and I let my bat head go and try to make contact, I'm going to get around the ball and we're going to hit it to the right side. We want to make sure that we keep our hands going as we're hitting. This is what it's going to look like if I stop my hands and let my bat head go. This is what it's going to look like if I let my bat drag through the zone and lag to getting to the ball. This usually happens when our foot is pointing towards the pitcher or our hips open prematurely. The main takeaways to hit the inside of the ball and have a good strong bat angle is to keep your hands inside, your foot closed, and control the rest of your bat with your top hand.